section six of ancient ballads and legends of hindustan by toru dutt this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org ancient ballads and legends of hindustan by toru dutt lakshman hark lakshman hark again that cry it is it is my husband's voice o oh, hasten to his succor fly no more hast thou dear friend a choice he calls on thee perhaps his foes environ him on all sides round that wail it means death's final throes why standest thou as magic bound is this a time for thought o oh, gird thy bright sword on and take thy bow he heeds not hears not any word evil hangs over us i know swift in decision prompt in deed brave unto rashness can this be the man to whom all looked at need is it my brother that i see ah no and i must run alone for further here i cannot stay art thou transformed to blind dumb stone wherefore this impious strange delay that cry that cry it seems to ring still in my ears i cannot bear suspense if help we fail to bring his death at least we both can share o oh, calm thyself the day and queen no cause is there for any fear hast thou his prowess never seen wipe off for shame that dastard tear what being of demonian birth could ever brave his mighty arm is there a creature on the earth that dares to work our hero harm the lion and the grizzly bear cower when they see his royal look sun staring eagles of the air his glance of anger cannot brook pythons and cobras at his tread to their most secret coverts glide bowed to the dust each serpent head erect before in hooded pride rakshasas danavs demons ghosts acknowledge in their hearts his might and slink to their remotest coasts in terror at his very sight evil to him o oh, fear it not whatever foes against him rise banish for i the foolish thought and be thyself bold great and wise he call for help canst thou believe he like a child would shriek for aid or pray for respite or reprieve not of such metal is he made delusive was that piercing cry some trick of magic by the foe he has a work he cannot die beseech me not from hence to go for here beside thee as a guard twas he commanded me to stay and dangers with my life to ward if they should come across thy way send me not hence for in this wood bands scattered of the giants lurk who on their wrongs and vengeance brood and wait the hour their will to work o oh, shame and canst thou make my weal a plea for lingering now i know what thou art lakshman and i feel far better were an open foe art thou a coward i have seen thy bearing in the battle fray where flew the death-fraught arrows keen else 
had i judged thee so to-day but then thy leader stood beside dazzles the cloud when shines the sun reft of his radiance see it glide a shapeless mass of vapours dun so of thy courage or if not the matter is far darker dyed what makes thee loath to leave this spot is there a motive thou wouldst hide he perishes well let him die his wife henceforth shall be mine own can that thought deep embedded lie within thy heart's most secret zone search well and see one brother takes his kingdom one would take his wife a fair partition but it makes me shudder and abhor my life art thou in secret league with those who from his hope the kingdom rent a spy from his ignoble foes to track him in his banishment and wouldst thou at his death rejoice i know thou wouldst or sure ere now when first thou heardst that well-known voice thou shouldst have run to aid i trow learn this whatever comes may come but i shall not survive my love of all my thoughts here is the sum witness it gods in heaven above if fire can burn or water drown i follow him choose what thou wilt truth with its everlasting crown or falsehood treachery and guilt remain here with a vain pretence of shielding me from wrong and shame or go and die in his defence and leave behind a noble name choose what thou wilt i urge no more my pathway lies before me clear i did not know thy mind before i know thee now and have no fear she said and proudly from him turned was this the gentle sita no flames from her eyes shot forth and burned the tears therein had ceased to flow hear me o queen ere i depart no longer can i bear thy words they lacerate my inmost heart and torture me like poisoned swords have i deserved this at thine hand of lifelong loyalty and truth is this the meed i understand thy feelings sita and in sooth i blame thee not but thou mightst be less rash in judgment look i go little i care what comes to me wert thou but safe god keep thee so in going hence i disregard the plainest orders of my chief a deed for me a soldier hard and deeply painful but thy grief and language wild and wrong allow no other course mine be the crime and mine alone but oh do thou think better of me from this time here with an arrow lo i trace a magic circle ere i leave no evil thing within this space may come to harm thee or to grieve step not for aught across the line whatever thou mayst see or hear so shalt thou balk the bad design of every enemy i fear and now farewell what thou hast said though it has broken quite my heart so that i wish that i were dead i would before o queen we part freely forgive for well i know that grief and fear have made thee wild we part as friends is it not so and speaking thus 
he sadly smiled and o oh, ye sylvan gods that dwell among these dim and sombre shades whose voices in the breezes swell and blend with noises of cascades watch over sita whom alone i leave and keep her safe from harm till we return unto our own i and my brother arm in arm for though ill omens round us rise and frighten her dear heart i feel that he is safe beneath the skies his equal is not and his heel shall tread all adversaries down whoever they may chance to be farewell o sita blessings crown and peace for ever rest with thee he said and straight his weapons took his bow and arrows pointed keen kind nay indulgent was his look no trace of anger there was seen only a sorrow dark that seemed to deepen his resolve to dare all dangers hoarse the vulture screamed as out he strode with dauntless air End of section six